To have any physical presence in the scene, a game object must use one of the collider components to define its physical shape and to interact with the relevant physics engine. Unity has two physics engines, one for 3D and one for 2D. These two physics engines do not interact with each other. For more information on physics and physics 2D, please see the information linked below. When using the 2D physics engine, a Collider 2D component must be used. There are four Collider 2D components to choose from. The Circle Collider 2D, the Box Collider 2D, the Polygon Collider 2D, and the Edge Collider 2D. All of these Collider components share many properties, as they all derive from the same generic base Collider 2D. Each Collider 2D component, however, is optimized for a particular shape. The Circle Collider 2D works with round, circular objects. The Box Collider 2D works well with rectangular objects. The Polygon Collider 2D works best with complex shapes. And the Edge Collider 2D works well for surfaces. The Edge Collider and Polygon Colliders are very similar. They are created by several points or vertices with edges connecting them. The main difference between them is that the Polygon Collider must be a closed shape covering an area, and the Edge Collider must be open, defining an edge of one or more segments. One good use of the Edge Collider is to make a single solid surface, rather than a series of 2D colliders even if several sprites are used to create the visual aspect of the surface. When comparing all 2D colliders, there are two properties exposed in the inspector that they all share. Is Trigger and Material. The other unique properties are for defining the shape of that particular 2D collider. The Is Trigger property will set the collider to behave as a trigger collider. With normal 2D physics collisions, the 2D physics engine will prevent 2D colliders from passing through each other. 2D trigger colliders will not participate in physical collisions, and will send 2D trigger messages rather than 2D collision messages. These trigger messages can be used to initiate new actions in the scene. For more information on Is Trigger and the messages sent by colliders, please see the information linked below. The Material property is a reference to the Physics Material 2D being used by the Collider 2D, and this can be none. Physics materials define how colliders will react when they collide, and define both the bounciness and the friction of the collider's surface. To make a bouncy ball or a slippery ice-covered platform, use a different Physics Material 2D with each Collider 2D. For more information on Physics Material 2D, Please see the information linked below. To use a Collider 2D, it must be attached to a game object. One way of attaching a Collider 2D component is to use the Add Component button and select Physics 2D and select a Collider 2D component. For more information on game objects, components, and how to use them, please see the information linked below. When a Collider 2D component is attached, Unity will try to size the Collider 2D to the sprite. If the size and shape of the Collider 2D is undesirable, then the shape can be edited by either changing the values in the inspector, or changing the Collider 2D itself in the scene view. To edit a Collider 2D in the scene view, hold down the Shift key. This will display handles on the 2D Collider's gizmo in the scene view. These handles are draggable. In the case of the Edge Collider and the Polygon Collider, dragging an existing handle will move the Collider's vertex and change the Collider's shape rather than resizing the Collider. By moving the cursor over an empty edge on either the Edge Collider or the Polygon Collider, a new vertex can be created by clicking. This is indicated by a new handle appearing and the edge highlighting in green.
In the case of the Edge Collider and the Polygon Collider, holding the Control key will allow a vertex to be deleted when clicked. This is indicated by the handle and the edge highlighting in red. A game object does not need a rigid body 2D to use a Collider 2D. To participate in 2D collision and trigger events, however, at least one of the game objects involved must have a rigid body 2D attached. A common pattern for best performance would be to attach Collider 2D components, but not rigid body components, to all of the static or non moving game objects that need to interact with 2D physics, and attach a Collider 2D and a rigid body 2D to the dynamic or moving game objects that need to interact in the scene. For more information on Physics 2D, Collider 2D, Collisions and Triggers, please see the information link below.